Hello and welcome to Darius Tabletop and today we will take a look at my uh, self-built Land Raider. Um, it might look ugly but let me show you this beauty. Um, um, the measurements are right and um, well it's a bit thicker than a normal Land Raider but the rest um, is kind of cool. So um, I apologize in advance, I'm an Italian born and raised in Germany, so my English is probably not so good, but stay with me, bear with me, um, and I will show you um, how this mess came to be, and I think it's kind of awesome, and I will share with you the process, and you can do it the same, and maybe you can learn um, from my mistakes what to do, what not to do, and um, how to make it better if you want to make it better. Um, yeah, so let's start. Um, um, a while ago, like, let me show you around. Um, as you can see, I haven't posted in a while because um, I kind of do comics and paintings. And um, last October, I kind of got into bolt action. I wanted to get into bolt action for a very long time, um, but I didn't have the money or the, the space. Um, and I also got into um, Marvel, Marvel Crisis, a beautiful game. Um, I think I will do uh, a few videos um, in a while and update you on my stuff. And um, I bought more and more tanks for um, bolt action and I was, I was thinking about selling my 40k stuff and then 10th edition came around and the guy I was playing with uh, bolt action um, his name is Jack or Jacques and um, he introduced me into bolt action and we played January and February and uh, all of December it was so amazing because it's a great um, system and again, I was thinking about selling my Death Watch army. You can see it here. Um, because it kind of gave me nothing. Like, um, And then, again, 10th edition came around. At, at first, I was like, okay, 10th edition is just crap. Um, but in my local uh, game store, um, we paint 500 points, then 750, and then 1,000, and um, Jack started and he said he would he would paint up an army and so i revisited mine uh, probably for selling um, or maybe even for playing and then somehow um, i was watching mordian glory because he made a cool um, bolt action videos and then i started um, kind of getting again into 40k and as the spiral uh, or, the, or the, the the weapons race begun. Um, I kind of got myself eradicators, um, or I got into kit bashing. I love kit bashing. I don't know. It's not that I don't want to spend the money, but some of the um, games workshop prices are just a bit too high. Let me grab some kit bashing here. Um, I also let me show you what I kit bash before we get to this one. So. Um, I got myself then some Terminators, um, I got myself then some Leviathan Terminators and I kitbashed myself an Apothecary. This is a normal, um, a normal, what do you say, a Death Watch veteran and I put an arm here and it's not finished again. But as you can see, I kitbashed my own Apothecary and um, my um, Judicator or something like this. This is a Stormcast Eternal um, champion and I cut him up and I kind of made him um, my Judicator. But yeah, let's get to the Land Raider. So in the next video I will explain what I did and here's some Assassins I will play. I will show you all of this and this will be my Vindicare Assassin um, maybe I will increase the size of the sniper. We'll see. But yeah. And then 
I got the vision, okay, I got to do a land raider. And um, this is what it looks like. Like the idea was to put in a storm bolter. I got this bit from a terminator that got a storm shield. I got some old bits. And um, I will show you in a second how I started out um, doing this out of cardboard. And um, as you can see, stuff I found and um, a lot of ca cardboard, a lot of glue gun. Um, here is the two storm bolters. I cut them out from some space marines. And then here this one um, I kind of took from my bolt action tank knowledge that some of the tanks um, just got metal plates. Again, this is... Um, how do you call it? Um, it's not a glue gun. It's just like in German we call it Sekundenkleber because like this glue, um, like wood, wood glue kind of um, softened up the, the, um, the cardboard and made it bend a lot. Um, so probably going with a glue gun, a very fine one, is a good idea. Then I use some, um, what's the Kundenkleber? This, this, as you can see, all my um, hands are sticking together. Um, like this glues everything. So this is what I used for the cardboard. And the pieces, this one um, was glue gun, as you can see, most of the parts. Then I wanted to have here, here's kind of the driver. Um, the driver can use the storm bolter. Um, this is a melter. Then we got here a dark assess uh, um, a dark angel. Um, I cut out up here and I glued it on. He's I don't know what he is. He operates probably maybe he's a driver or he operates um, the storm the heavy bolters. And then we got the last guns, which um, on this side it's like um, square bases glued together. Um, this one, I think, is from Hero Quest, um, a treasure thing. Then this one is the backpack of the, of the Dark Angel. Um, here's some straws. On the other side, it's a bit more refined. It's um, a crate or something from 40k. Then it's a plasma um, uh, made into a last gun, as you can see. Um, I glued these two together before I glued these two to the plasma gun. And again here, bits from um, the backpack from the Dark Angel here and here. And yeah, pretty creative, just gluing stuff on and slapping it on. And then we got here a tank commander, um, a Death Watch tank commander, um holding a flamer because that's what he does and in the back we got um some sprue cut out sprue glued with a glue gun here and then this is a bit from the skaven from the skaven army and uh this one is a bit from um the death watch thingy and then i had one random uh, rocket launcher and uh, rock, random pieces from Sprue, and this is now my hunter seeker, no, hunter seeker missile. And so this is the front view. I know it's pretty messy. We'll see how it comes out. And as you can see, um, I got some of the bits. I will show in a second. And you just cut them out. You glue them together, and this will look later. Um, yeah, like the vehicle. It should be. Um, and um, I used this is uh, this one. Um, it's a bit too soft. Um, like the tracks um, are from um, cookies. Like there are some German they they, they call it double cakes, and where there are, you have a cookie roll uh, with double double cookie, and in the middle there's chocolate. And this is what I got from. But it's very soft material. So um, at a certain point, um, uh, at most points, it's very stiff. It's very. I'm very happy with it, but um, at some points it's very, very. Uh, yeah, it's 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 very soft, 
and then here for the lights just spruce um, cut out spruce and yeah and then from like the world war ii setting um, and from the gas lens setting i just took up um, cardboard and glued them on so that it looks like this is reinforced with metal and as you can see here just metal reinforced that this is how it will look like here are metal plates and um, a beautiful tank right uh, um, a, t uh, a fuel fuel a fuel tank right there and then for the for the backside which is pretty ugly but we'll see how it will look after I, I um, have it primed um, two straws four straws and then it's kind of like um, my exhaust pipes and I, I think you can do it better than me I was kind of acting just on inspiration this one is from uh, an old milk um, the top lid um, and I think this is um, like my tank commander um, I don't know how you call it and here this is just two 25 millimeter bases uh, glued together as the hatch where it comes from and I hope this is a melter but yeah this is my Land Raider for the Death Watch and I will show you in a second uh, some of the cutouts and then in the next video I will show you the process but yeah just just to show you it's possible um, again the measurements are right this is roughly seven inches long three inches uh, high, high and it should be 10 inches wide I think this is 12 uh, no not uh, no it's seven inch uh, three inch and I don't know um, 10 centimeters I don't know what is 10 centimeters we'll see but it's a bit too wide and um, let's see it should be it should be just um, like this and it's a bit too 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 wide but the, the chassis I had like a, a piece of cardboard and it folded nicely over this as you can see here the, the black thing um, you will see later in the pictures um, so I took that and I think my guns are not protruding that much so uh, maybe like this one is uh, six and a half inches or 16 centimeters maybe it's in the range of a, a normal Land Raider and yeah that's it let me show you for a second the materials I used and then um, again in the next video um, I will show you how it will look primed and yeah as you can see um, I will also link below I found two guys who already did this and they made really cool Land Raiders um, as you can see here uh, my double cakes these are the tracks these ones um, here are the hatches I cut out and glued on the sides of the vehicle um, as you can see um, this was kind of my base for the Land Rider maybe I will include the PDF um, in the link down below some foam parts in between um, I used some uh, harder foam to to fill out the spaces between uh, let me show you like I, I did cut out this cardboard part another cardboard part on this cardboard part um, I did glue some textures as you can see like all of this stuff and then in between here there's some harder foam then I glued that together I put the tracks on then as you can see uh, a solid piece of cardboard here which was protruding up in this side and then I could just place pieces right here I, I then cut out a thing here and I started just gluing and putting together the tank and that's really it and yeah, um, not much more to say. We'll see us in the next video. See ya.